All right, so when you're first starting to learn web development or programming or JavaScript, you can take all the tutorials and courses you want, but until you actually put those skills into practice by building some application or any real world project, you're not really going to learn it or internalize it in the same way. Because anybody can watch some tutorial, learn all the syntax and copy and paste exactly like the tutorial says. But when you build real world projects, you actually have to think of solutions to problems you might have. You might think of the best way to implement something or optimize something. And it's really a totally different skill from copy and pasting things from a tutorial into your project. So that's great if you want to be a code monkey, but if you want to be more skilled than just copy and paste, then building real world projects is really going to be your best bet at this stage. So once you've taken a few tutorials, you should really get your feet wet by trying to build out a full application. Now this, this isn't going to be necessarily anything too complicated, but the project ideas that I have here are gonna take longer than your simple grocery list app or something quick that you might find on some other video like this. So these are all ideas that I've actually had in my career that I might build out at some point, but I haven't yet, so I'm giving the ideas to you. So these are all actually useful projects that I might want to use myself, not just some random things that you're going to make once and then never think about again. So instead of just being some simple project that you can complete in an hour or two, these are going to be projects that will make maybe take you a few days to a week or more to complete, depending on how complicated you want to make it. All right, so anyway, let's just jump into the web development ideas for applications that you can build out. So the first idea is making an application that will tell you when you're going to be a millionaire in various currencies. So maybe you want to save up some money, you want to get more disciplined with building up your net worth. And so you can make this app just for fun to motivate somebody on their financial journey. Maybe they want to save up a bunch of money, but maybe a goal like making a million dollars is a long way away. But maybe you could become a millionaire in Japanese yen or Thai baht because it's a lot easier to become a millionaire in these currencies than something like US dollars. Now this is something just for fun, but you could take the currency API from a currency website and you could have an input, maybe they put in how much money that, that they have right now, their net worth, and you can calculate how many currencies that they're a millionaire in using this currency API. Maybe you can set it so every time you build this application for production, then it pulls down the currency JSON file from the API and passes that to the application. So you don't need to pull the API every time somebody visits the website. But I actually already created this app a while ago just for my own fun. So maybe take a look at this if you're interested in making something like this. So this will just teach you how to work with basic APIs and make some basic inputs work. It's a pretty easy project if you want to make that your first one. So another idea I had was a habit tracker application. So there's a million habit trackers already in that if you want to create a new good habit, maybe you want to make your bed every morning, then you can log this every single day and say all the time that you did do this habit and maybe it'll motivate you to keep on doing this habit so that you don't break the streak that you have of all these days that you completed the habit. But instead of just a normal habit tracker app, you can make this one a little bit more forgiving because a lot of the habit trackers, they require you to be pretty much perfect. And if you're not perfect, then they're gonna punish you by leaving gaps in your streak. But maybe you can make a habit tracker app that doesn't completely punish you if you just miss one day. If you miss one day and then are consistent seven more days in a row, maybe it'll erase that day that you missed. So it's a little bit more forgiving and you don't feel so bad if you miss one day because if you're back to being consistent, then it just disappears after a certain amount of time. You could also make it more minimalist by only allowing them to track one habit at a time instead of trying to change a million habits in your life. It's probably better just to do one or maybe two. It's gonna be more effective. This can just be a Chrome extension or something like that. You don't need a database or user authentication or a Android or iOS app. You can just make this a Chrome extension. The APIs for Chrome extensions or any browser extensions are really not that complicated. And so you can do that instead of having to make this a full featured app with logins and everything. So it's gonna be a lot easier if you're just starting out. So just save the data of their habits just to their local machine or to their local browser. They can sync it with their Google account if they use Google Chrome, something like that. You could also create a web ring. Maybe I'm dating myself by this, but back in the 2000s, Google search results were not as good. So if you wanted to find some new websites, 
uh, maybe in the niche that you're interested in, you would join a web ring. And then all the websites in this similar interest group would put a little iframe at the bottom of the page with, uh, they can click the next site or see a list of all the sites in the web ring. And it's just a good way to find other websites related to your hobby because they can just click through to the next website and all these different websites help each other out in helping users find other websites like it. Now, this isn't really a thing anymore because of Google search results and these big sites like Facebook and Twitter, but I think they should come back because Google search results are really not that great, to be honest. If you look up something in your interest, most of the time you're just going to find some clickbait, SEO optimized page, which doesn't really have any great content. For example, if you're a web developer, finding good web developer blogs is kind of hard. Maybe you'll run across one or two on Reddit or something like this, but unless you really go out of your way, it's hard to find any good web developer blogs. So maybe you could create a web ring and people could add their website via a pull request on the GitHub and you can create some JavaScript code that will load in a JSON file of all the different websites in the web ring and they can click next, then click a random website or just see a list of all the websites in the web ring. You could also make a productivity or to-do list app. So I know, I know, don't click off this video yet. I know nobody wants to create another to-do app. I know everybody and their mother suggests that you should create a to-do app as your first real world project, but it's just so easy that nobody cares anymore. It's just a very boring thing to do. So you can make it more interesting by, instead of just writing down to-dos, you can remember which to-dos they did for which days, and you could make it kind of like a GitHub contribution graph. So maybe if you completed seven to-dos today, you'll have a little dark blue square under today. If you only completed one or two, you'll have a lighter blue square, but something like that in that it tracks how many to-dos you did and how productive you are. Maybe you could also incorporate some more stats like what time of day are you most productive? Uh, what days of the week are you most productive? So that if you wanna be more productive, you can see, okay, I usually knock out most of the tasks for the day in the morning. So maybe I should wake up early and really knock out a lot of things in the morning just so I can relax for the rest of the day. Again, you can just make this a Chrome extension. You don't have to have authentication or anything like that. But if you wanna go for bonus points or extra credit, then you can do something like that. You can create a web app where people can sign in and keep a database of all their different to-dos and their history and all of that. You could also create a new tab page. So you've probably seen all these Chrome extensions that give you a new tab page with uh, maybe the weather, some links of popular websites that you might visit, and just some various things like that. You can make a minimalist version of this with just text links, and there can be a button where you can add new text links. There can be a button where you add more columns or categories. You can have them customize the background color or maybe the link color, and just allow them to do a lot of customization on this new tab page. Just make it really sleek and minimal so people will want to use it. Because when I want a new tab page, I don't necessarily care about all this junk that they give me. I don't really care about the weather today. So I t turn most of those off anyway. So just a minimalist new tab page would be pretty easy to make. You could also create a who to follow list on some site like Twitter. So if you join Twitter, maybe you want to follow a bunch of web developers because there's some developers that post a ton of useful things on Twitter. They post useful links, articles, and things that they're thinking about. And it can be really good to learn a lot about some specific thing. Maybe you want to learn more about React, so you follow some of the top people in React. But when you first start out, it's kind of hard to find good people to follow. Like good people that aren't going to post a lot of nonsense that you don't really care about. So maybe you create a site where people can submit different Twitter users and then upvote them in order to find the most useful ones. Maybe you can make a website specifically for following web developers. So people would add and submit web developers that they find interesting on Twitter, their Twitter username, and people can anonymously upvote them as well. So maybe you would have to make a system where they can't abuse the upvote system, but I think a site like this would be useful just in finding some good Twitter people to follow because Twitter does not necessarily always give you the best recommendations on who to follow. Along the same vein, you can also make a website where people can anonymously submit images for inspiration. Maybe you're into some game like Minecraft or Terraria or SimCity, some game where you can be like a little creative and make some interesting designs and projects. But whenever you play the game, you're not really inspired on 
uh, what you should build or how it should look like. So maybe for example, if you're playing Minecraft and you wanna make a house, but you're not really sure how to make it, then you can look at this website and see some inspiration from other people who have made houses. And they can anonymously submit images with their name and category. So it would go into the appropriate category and you could look it up from there. Now you might have to have some kind of moderation so people don't just submit any kind of image there. But something like this would be good if you want to learn how to work on images. Maybe you can use a third party like Cloudinary to upload all your images to. Or you can spin up your own server and learn how to let people upload images to it. This is a little bit more complex than the other ones because you might have to create some backend code. But I think with a little bit of effort, this shouldn't be too much work to do. You could also make a book tracking website. So maybe you want to show everybody all the books that you read this year or this millennium and you want to have a long list of all the books that you've ever read. And so you can do this with a website like Goodreads, but websites like these just have so many different things like reviews and news and forums and all these things about books that I don't necessarily care about. I just want a place to list all the books that I've read. So you can create a website where people can sign up and add the books they read. They can write down the name of the book, the author, a star rating, one through five, a review of the book, the date when they finished it, and all these different options, and then just display all of these books on a list on their own specific page. You can give each user their own page that the public can view it. And if you want to go for extra credit, you can even pull in this information from a book API, like maybe Google Books or some Amazon service that allows you to get book covers and programmatically look up the books that you're looking for. So this is a little bit more complicated than the others because you might have to set up authentication, database, places to store images and API and all that. But this would be a good project if you're looking for something a little bit more complex than all these. You could also create an expense tracker app. So maybe you're trying to save money. You don't want to spend all your money on just a few frivolous things. So maybe you can track all of your expenses that you make in a day or a week or a month. So you would have an option to add a new expense. They can say how much they spent and in what category. Maybe they spent $5 on food today they can save that. And then later on, you can display data in that you can tell them how much money they spent a month, how much money they spent a day, how much money they spent on average per day or month, and just things like that in order to better give them a grasp of how much money they're spending in a typical day, week, or month. And of course, for extra credit, you can make this a full web app and that you can add authentication and allow anybody to join and add their own expenses and keep it in a database. And finally, for my last idea, you can set up a website where people can find an accountability partner. Maybe they're really struggling to stop some addiction. It could be a bad habit like smoking or just browsing the internet way too often. Maybe you want to quit Reddit cold turkey. Or maybe you want to stop watching so many YouTube videos. Not mine though, because mine are good. But anyway, maybe you want to find an accountability partner or somebody who can kind of keep you on track to make sure that you're actually staying disciplined and doing what you actually say instead of just saying, okay, I want to quit this, but you're not actually doing it. So you'd find somebody that you can email every single day and you can also keep them accountable. So you would kind of just keep each other accountable for whatever habit that you want to break or add. And you can create an application that allows people to join it and then they put in a little bit of information about themselves, like what habit they're trying to break, how old they are, their gender, and then the system automatically goes through and matches them with somebody else that they think that they would be a good match for. So you're not just being paired with random people with completely different habits that you can't really relate to. If you want to break some habit, then you're also going to get somebody who also wants to break the same habit. And so you would just join and then maybe it sends you an email as soon as you get somebody who you might want to partner with. And then you can go to the website and click accept. It sends you both an email and everybody's happy. You can take it from there. So this would be good because you can maybe work with email. You could use some third party service like SendGrid in order to manage all these emails. And you'd have to create some kind of basic algorithm that would match people up with each other. So these are just a few ideas that I had. And really the point of this video is just to get you thinking about what kind of things that you can make. Because that's one of the best things of being a web developer and that you can create almost anything. So if I were you, I'd just look for things that maybe you can improve. Like maybe you use this app every day that you don't really like. Like you just see so many ways that it could be better. And so maybe you can make that better version of the application. 
or maybe you're just going about your daily life and you see something that you could do a little bit better or you think of some application that could be useful for your own life. So just create that if you think it would be useful to yourself. Even if you don't think it would be useful for anybody else, as long as it's useful for you, just build it. Because the only way you're going to get better at web development is if you actually build projects instead of just doing this tutorials forever. I've heard of people that are just in the so-called tutorial hell who only know how to build things based on tutorials and have no like real world skills in building something. So just build something like this or whatever you want in accordance to your own interests. So maybe you don't care about making a book tracking app. Instead, you can do it with music or maybe anime, Look, whatever you're into, I don't judge. But hopefully you can take a few ideas from this and start building out an actually useful project that people might use. It's gonna look a lot better on your portfolio than somebody who just copies everything from a tutorial and then says, oh, can I put this project up on my GitHub to impress prospective employers? Copying something verbatim from a tutorial is not going to impress too many people, but actually going through and creating a project of your own is going to be a lot more impressive to people. All right, so stop watching tutorials, stop watching all the YouTube videos about how to be a programmer, and just go out and make things. That's the best advice I can give you if you want to learn programming, web development, or anything. Just go out and do things, okay?